playing on here? Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd have the opportunity to sing in St. Peter's. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Like, people say, you tell them you're going there to sing, and they're like, wow, that's amazing. And, and it doesn't set in until you actually do it. And you go in there, and you just you walk in, and you're just in awe because there's so much to look at, so much to see. And when you sing in there, it's just amazing, the sounds. It's, it's, no words can explain, really, the feeling of singing in there. Just uh, singing at St. Peter's, the solo, the whole group, that's, I'm going to remember that the whole rest of my life, by far the best singing moment ever.
when we finished singing, all of a sudden the congregation broke into applause in St. Peter's after a mass. And that this is the third time we've sung there. That's the first time there's ever been any applause in St. Peter's. Being a Catholic, I understand that in a church you don't stand up and clap. That's kind of one of those things that you really don't do. I didn't want it to end. I just wanted to keep making it. I could have sang Ave Maria for another hour there. It was a beautiful boat. The applause at the end just kind of was kind of like, I don't know. It was the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. For yeah. a great trip, yeah. And to be able to be part of that and be able to do the Mass is incredible. You know, you, things that uh, not many people get to say they did that, you know. Like Lucas B. said, I, he said it best, I think. And we, walked, we were walking out and he said, well, that's one thing I can scratch off the list, you know, on the to-do list. And so not many people can, uh, can say that. So it, yeah, it was incredible, yeah, unbelievable. I'm, you know, so I'm thankful that uh, Bob got us that connection to, to be over there, go over there and do that. It was unbelievable. But anyway, well, one nun came up and she said, she said, that was the best choir I've ever heard. And another guy came up to me and he said, where are you guys from? And I said, the University of Northern Iowa. He said, that makes me proud to be an American. Yes, yes. Uh, polyphonia, uh, sacra, the, the sacra. Ah. I like very much. Grazie. Thank you very much. Grazie. She's from Seattle and says she travels out here and goes to Mass once in a while. Whenever she gets a chance, said this is the best music she'd ever heard here. Really? I think they should hire us. <laughs> uh, Maestro Capone himself was not there. He was there the first time we sang, um, uh, but his assistant was there. And his assistant came up to me afterwards and he shook my hand. He said, complimenti, complimenti. And he said, we have many choirs come through here and sing. And he said, this is the best one we've ever had. Uh, and then there was, a, there was an older lady that came to the Mass and she, was, she spoke to some of the guys in the Glee Club after the Mass was over. Hai capito? Come sono carini questi ragazzi? Ah, bravi siete! Eh? Guarda come sono carini queste persone! Eh? Più di così? Oggi io sono ricca! Guarda come sono ricca oggi, vero signora? Guarda che brava gente che si incontra a venire al Vaticano! Grazie. Ciao! Grazie! Grazie a tutti, eh! that there are lots of uh, good choirs singing in St. Peter's but especially the guy who was standing almost next to me said this was, was for sure the very best that he ever heard and I heard that lots of people came also to Bob and said uh, for example this nun told uh, said as well that it was the best choir that she ever heard and you just sounded excellent tonight really excellent